This lesson explores the seraphim. Seraphim designates a particular class of heavenly attendants of Yahweh's court. They are revealed in the profound spiritual vision of Isaiah in the temple, where he saw the hidden realities represented by the physical elements of Yahweh's dwelling. He saw the seraphim and their role in the celestial hierarchy. Welcome to SD Kaysen Courses. Today, we will discuss the symbolism behind the seraphim and their significance in Christian theology. Isaiah had a profound spiritual vision in the temple. He saw the hidden realities represented by the physical elements of Yahweh's dwelling, such as the altar and the ministers. In the Bible, these angelic beings are distinctly mentioned only in Isaiah's description of his call to the prophetical office, Isaiah chapter 6 verse 2. As he stood in the priest's court, he witnessed an awe-inspiring sight of Yahweh sitting on his throne of glory. On each side of the throne were mysterious guardians with six wings, two to lift them, two to cover their faces, and two to conceal their feet. These were the highest servants of Yahweh, present to serve and proclaim his glory. They called out to each other, saying, Holy, holy, holy Yahweh of hosts, all the earth is full of his glory. These were called seraphim, and one flew towards Isaiah with a live coal from the altar. The seraphim touched Isaiah's lips with the coal, purifying them and consecrating them for prophetic inspiration. Isaiah's symbolic vision provides insight into the seraphim mentioned in sacred scripture. The seraphim are numerous and can be seen surrounding the heavenly throne in two choirs. The sound of their chorus is so powerful that it shakes the palace's foundation. Despite being depicted with human-like features such as faces, hands, and feet, Isaiah chapter 6 verses 2 and 6, they are spiritual beings that align with their name rather than just symbolic representations, as some Protestant scholars suggest. The seraphim and cherubim are two different types of heavenly beings. The cherubim veil God and show his glory in the earthly sanctuary, while the seraphim minister in the heavenly court. The name seraphim distinguishes them from the cherubim. However, its precise meaning is not clear from the single scriptural passage mentioning them. Some scholars believe the name comes from the Hebrew verb meaning to consume with fire, which is in accordance with Isaiah chapter 6 verse 6, where a seraph carries celestial fire to purify the prophet's lips. Others believe it comes from the Hebrew noun meaning a fiery and flying serpent. Still, there is no trace of such a form in Isaiah's description of the seraphim. The seraphim are mentioned at least twice in the book of Enoch. Christian theology considers them to hold the highest rank in the celestial hierarchy, along with cherubim and thrones. In liturgical texts such as the Te Deum and Preface of the Mass, the seraphim are represented as repeating the words Holy, 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 also known as the Trisagion as in Isaiah chapter 6. In conclusion, Isaiah's vision in the temple provides valuable insights into the seraphim and their role in the heavenly court. These celestial beings are the highest servants of Yahweh. They are depicted with awe-inspiring features such as six wings and fiery purification abilities. Despite being different from the cherubim, they are still considered to hold the highest rank in the celestial hierarchy. The seraphim's continuous proclamation of Yahweh's holiness and glory serves as a reminder of their unending devotion and service to the Lord. And that was seraphim in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever.